Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for Monday, April 4th, 2016, around 5.01 in the afternoon, Bellica, Massachusetts. Still snowing out. It started to snow pretty steady and heavy around lunchtime. And it's, it's finally letting up. A few inches of snow on the ground. But this won't last because tomorrow it's supposed to melt because the sun angle in April is very strong. And it's going to be warming up again. Some news to report. The Boston Celtics versus Cleveland Indians opening day has been told, postponed due to inclement weather. Cold in Cleveland and some snow showers. They postponed it to tomorrow at 110, but the temperature is going to be about 32 degrees. They might have to postpone it again for, for until it gets warm. Also, the class of 2016 Pro Basketball Hall of Fame was announced. Including the 10 inductees include such names as Yao Ming, Shaquille O'Neal, Allen Iverson, Shell Swoops, Tom Izzo, and Jerry Reinstorf. So congratulations to them. And that's about it on news. My second video blog subject of the day is about um, disappointing teams in the NBA in 2015-2016 season. This year, there's been a, a, a quite a few disappointing teams in the NBA this season, and here they are. Probably the most disappointing team in the NBA this year has to be has to be the Chicago Bulls. The Chicago Bulls right now, if the playoffs started today, they will be out of the playoffs and they're like at a 500 record. They have a talented team including Derek Rose and jo Joey Noah. And, but like they lost Jimmy Butler a lot this season due to injuries and they've been like hovering around 500. Very disappointing team. Another disappointing team in the NBA this year has to be the Washington Wizards. Washington Wizards made the second round of the playoffs the past two seasons and a lot of people were saying they could have broken through and maybe made an NBA Eastern Conference Finals. Some people were saying they were a dark horse to come out of the Eastern Conference. But this year, the chemistry's not there. Randy Whitman's going to be out of a job at the end of the season. And Bradley Beal and John Wall have not been producing as good as they should be. And they have not had... There's, there's some dissension among the ranks for them. Another disappointing team in the NBA this year has to be the Milwaukee Bucks. The Milwaukee Bucks surprised a lot of people this year, last year and finishing 6th in the Eastern Conference. And this year, the bottom fell out. They are just, uh, they're just one of the worst teams in the NBA this year. And they, a lot of the players probably had career years. Another disappointing team in in the NBA this year is the Houston Rockets. The Houston Rockets are fighting to get one of the last playoff spots in the Western Conference. Last year they had the number two seed in the Western Conference. James Harden was awesome last year. He's doing pretty good this year, but there's been a lot of injuries, especially Dwight Howard. A lot of other players on the Houston Rockets had popped career years, but this year they, they fell down to earth. They fired Kevin McHale early in this season and they have they have not looked good. Even if they make the playoffs, they're going to be one and done. And probably the last disappointing team in the NBA this year has to be the New Orleans Hornets. I mean, the New Orleans Pelicans, I mean. The Pelicans had, like, Anthony Davis, their exciting player, 
one of the exciting players in the NBA, but they had a lot of injuries this year and like not good production. Anthony Davis has been sh- has been shut down for the season. Their new coach Alvin Gentry, maybe they don't have the chemistry with him and the team like they did with like Monty Williams. But you know Monty Williams got fired because the the Pelicans got swept. In the playoffs by the Warriors. And honorable mention for disappointing teams in the NBA this year is the Orlando Magic. Many people were saying that they could have been, that some of them were saying they would have made somehow snuck into the playoffs, but it turned out they didn't. And another honorable mention was um, Sacramento Kings. Some people were picking them to maybe squeak into the playoffs, but they haven't. They didn't make it and George Kyle's going to get fired and the rumor going around the street that the Sacramento Kings are after John Calipari, coach of Kentucky, because they're moving into a new arena. And that's about it on that. I'll be back with the third and final video blog of the night, which will be about former Major League Baseball player George Foster. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Button guy. Molly Rosenblatt of the WCCO Rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hutt, so, so stunning. She's the best, has nice legs. Amy Swensey, so awesome. And in the words of Sean Lucia, get out. See you later, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Bye now. Take care.